to get this transmission back in? That's right. We pulled the transmission. We might have pulled it a little early. Wayne come over, we went through it. Everything showed out to be good. Called Mercer out here, started checking the wiring. We had a bad fuse. Damn it. Kevin's on his way over here right now. We're about to start putting it back in. Are you helping? Are you helping? Or are you in the way? As soon as we got the transmission back in, I put Kevin in the truck, fired it up, started taking a look at the gauge. We're not looking too bad. We got pretty good pressure. Uh, when we were doing the transmission, I didn't have a new filter to put in the transmission. So we're kind of second guessing right now if that filter ain't stopped up, because there was a little dust in the bottom of the transmission. I was able to clean out the pan and all the clutches, the stillies, and everything looked good in the transmission. But I just didn't have a filter, and we're feeling like the filter may be causing us to have a little bit of erratic pressure. But we went ahead and run it through the gears, made sure there was no air in it. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night, come back tomorrow with a new filter. And uh, the pan was leaking a little bit, so I'm gonna change the gasket out on it. And we're gonna try it again first thing in the morning and hopefully get to make a test pass in front of the house. That looks a lot better. It's just easier to do. Now the next day after we change the filter, you can obviously tell that we got a ton more pressure. I mean, a lot more pressure. Well, we run it through the gears again. Make sure there ain't no air in it. Keep taking a look at it. Four gears at idle, they're a little less than 200. Not real happy with that, but at this point, we're gonna have to make a, a test pass to see if this thing's gonna work or not. Now when we took on Kevin as our new driver, we didn't know we was going to adopt little Corey too. So they're like two peas in a pot and Corey loves hot rods, he's all about drag racing and Kevin's got an energy inside him that I know we're going to put in the winter circle. So I put these two in the truck and we get this thing fired up and we get them sent down the road do a little testing on the pressure, make sure all the gauges are working. And I tell Kevin to go ahead and throw it up on the trans brake on his way back and make sure everything is a go. First thing we gotta do is secure a little cord, make sure we don't crack his head open. Yeah, well that's you Bubba, you're right there. That's your, you know what to do, you're the driver. <laughs> Don't give it no gas. It don't need no gas. You only two pedal it when you first start it. That's why I don't crank it when you get here. You two pedal it when you first start it. After that, it should start it by itself. Now you flood it. what I tell you when you flood it?
I think the whole time all I really needed was a little bit of help. We're getting closer and closer the more we work on this truck. We're getting it to, we're fine tuning this sucker. We've been playing with it so long, but we're making big steps now. Things are really looking up here at Moonshine Garage. up Kevin as a driver to help us out with Moonshine Garage, but we're glad he's here, otherwise we wouldn't have nobody to hold the light for the pressure gauge for Kevin to see it. Some of the hardest things I had to do was try to tune this truck by myself, drive it by myself, and pay for it by myself. It's all been a hell of a task, and putting these kids inside of it, I never would have thought would make my life so much easier, but it seems like we've made more progress as we picked up Kevin and his crew than I did the whole time with mine. So we're gonna continue on this path, and uh, as long as we can, we're gonna keep on pushing forward. Kevin comes back, I'm so used to this truck letting me down, having low pressure or something, or causing something, or something, or something, or something. So I was super surprised when I opened the door, and he tells me that the pressure gauge is just super out of sight. Way more pressure than we've ever had in the Moonshiner before. And, I mean, it does draw some concern, so I called Wayne and asked him what he thought he should do. He said, put it up for the night, get it out in the morning, make some hits on it, find out if it's going to be any good. We're either going to tear it up right here in front of the Moonshiner garage, it's going to be a whole lot better than throwing transmission fluid all over XRP. So first thing in the morning, that's what we plan on doing. Everybody's going to meet back up. We're going to put this thing out there. We're going to try to make a hit on it. Okay, the next day Kevin shows up and we're ready to test this thing and make sure it works. Now he don't bring little Corey with him, he brings my man Memphis. Memphis is here to help us out also. He'll do whatever we need to do to keep Moonshiner Garage going. Super glad to have this guy helping us too. Now we instructed Kevin to ease it down there through the gears slowly and then when he come back, come about halfway down the road and let's stop. And my man Memphis is gonna help me make some content. He's gonna film the back of the truck, I'm gonna film the front, and we're gonna be able to get a little data right here on the road and see how it does. All we need is Kevin to participate. Me and Memphis, we follow the plan. We get set up and we're waiting on Kevin. All he's got to do is come up here and make a hit. 
Nope. That's not his plan. Kevin comes at us wide open and never slows down. It got, it got gun hard on me. I wanted him to stop right here and do it. What the fuck? Stole our shot from us. I thought you were stopping down there. At the no, we want. I said, come halfway back. I'm like, come here, come up here, come up here. And you're like, nope, I'm going. Yeah, and then we started to that. Like, oh, I was like, he's going. He's going after. He's going after. That bitch laid sideways. <laughs> That's just us out here in front of the house, and I'm trying to share it with y'all. We're just getting the kid used to the truck and uh, dealing with the transmission. We've always had real low, low pressure. Well. When we were at the track the other day, y'all seen the video, uh, it actually popped a fuse and I pulled the trigger and pulled the transmission out because I'm so used to pulling it. And then we went through the transmission, found out the fuse was bad, did some rewiring, made that a little better and rebuilt the transmission, put it back in. Now we got like 300 something PSI on the transmission, but Kevin's made a couple passes in it and uh, seems to be fine so we're gonna see what happens see y'all at xrp sunday we're going for test and tune if everything works out correctly the truck's ready to go we got one very very small transmission leak that we're and then indian valley for some uh, truck class thing we might put him in the competition i'm not 100 percent sure like that we just have to play it out and see how sunday comes but if you're out at xrp come say hi to us sunday xrp test and tune don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and go to moonshinergarage.com uh, for our new shirts. Guys, okay guys, here's our new shirts. Uh, Red Hulk Racing. That's right. She made these for, for us. They are super awesome. They got the moonshiner on them. Check this little out. It's only illegal if you get caught. Well, it's, uh, super nice shirts. Go to moonshinergarage.com if you'd like to get one of those. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe. I'm a member.